step, take that chance. They work with you and the doctors are amazing. The approach that we take towards patients is one of guides. The patient is the center of our universe. That's why our name is Dental Implants GPS, because we guide patients along this journey to their better future, to their newfound confidence. Call GPS today at 800-984-9600 or visit findmysmile.com. Fargo is the new virtual assistant from Wells Fargo. Oh, come on, come on. Fargo lets you do this. Fargo, turn off my debit card. I found it. I found my card. And also this. Fargo, turn off my debit card. Do you, Fargo? You can with Wells Fargo. Cars are going electric. Why not your grill? The hottest gadgets from CES 2024, quite literally, in TechSmart. Wednesday at 5 a.m. Now at 11, increased concerns over Boeing 737 MAX 9 airplanes. What inspections are revealing about that frightening Alaska Airlines flight? Former President Donald Trump back in a D.C. courtroom today over his claims of immunity from prosecution. We're live from our nation's capital with details from that hearing. Then a new study suggests bottled water contains up to 100 times more pieces of plastic than previously estimated. What scientists say about these new findings. And Casey Montoya is here with your Five Live forecast. And thankfully, Glenn, that forecast is going to be a little bit warmer today. But we do have some gusty winds, potential rain and snow on the way. So we'll talk about the timing of that coming up. Good morning and welcome to the KTLA 5 Morning News at 11 a.m. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. Thanks for joining us this morning. We are learning more about what might have caused part of a plane to rip off during an Alaska Airlines flight. Meantime, air travel is still impacted by the grounding of Boeing 737 MAX 9s as inspections reveal more safety issues. KTLA 5's Lauren Lister live now at LAX with the latest developments. Lauren? Yeah, Glenn and Lou with 171 Boeing 737 MAX 9 aircraft grounded. It's United and also Alaska that are the U.S. carriers impacted. And both of those airlines have now reported finding some issues with the door plug on some of those planes as they are doing these inspections. The door plug being the part of that Alaska Airlines flight that blew out midair on Friday. Take a look at this. This is that part of the plane. Plane, the door plug that was located. It's refrigerator sized. It was found in a backyard in Portland, Oregon after plunging 16,000 feet from the skies from that plane after it had taken off from Portland. It is placed on the aircraft where an emergency exit door would be if a jet had more seats, but it's not a door that opens or closes. It's, it's a permanent fixture. Now, why and how it blew out of that one particular flight are still questions. Uh, it caused what the National Transportation Safety Board called a violent explosive decompression event. We want to remind you of that. Let's show that video, please. Luckily, no one on that plane was seriously hurt. The door plug was found by a Portland physics teacher named Bob, who we are now hearing from. My heart did start beating a little faster at that point because I thought, oh my goodness, people have been looking for this all weekend, and it looks like.